Hey, what's up guys? I'm Daniel Proc from North Carolina FC and I'm going to read Dangerous Animals for Read and Feed. So, let's get started. Watch out! Animals can be dangerous for lots of different reasons. They may be scared, hungry, or even protecting their family. This rattlesnake is rattling its scaly tail. It is a warning that it may attack. Stay away. Animals can be dangerous when they're protecting their babies or the place where they live. A mother polar bear looks after her cubs until they can look after themselves. A male bear tries to attack the cubs. The mother protects them. She scares the bear away and their cubs are safe for the moment. Some animals defend the area where they live and hunt. This area is called their territory. Tigers fight other tigers that come into their territory. Sometimes they fight until one of them dies. Hunting for food. Animals that eat meat kill other animals. Some use special skills to catch their prey. Cheetahs spring after prey such as antelopes and then pull them to the ground. Brown bears wait in streams to catch leaping salmon. A boa constrictor coils around its prey and squeezes it to death. A tiger's stripes are like camouflage. It can sneak up on its prey without being seen. An eagle swoops and snatches a fish in its sharp claws. Scorpions sting and stun their prey with poison in their tails. Teamwork. Some animals live in groups and hunt as a team so that they can kill bigger animals. Wolves live and hunt in family groups called packs. They kill animals such as deer and moose. Wolves can follow the smell of their prey through the snow. Female lions hunt together. They chase a zebra away from its herd and drag it to the ground. One lion bites the zebra's throat and holds on until it stops breathing. The lions all feed on the dead zebra. After dark. When night falls, some animals have special ways of finding prey in the dark. A pit viper has two deep holes in its face that feel heat given off by other animals. This means that small animals can't even hide from the viper in the dark. An owl's large eyes let it see really well, even when there is almost no light. They fly quietly, then swoop and grab small animals in the sharp claws. Hidden dangers. Some animals hide and wait for prey instead of chasing it. Leopards climb trees, then leak down onto animals that pass by. A crocodile swims in a river, with only part of its head showing. A gazelle drinks from the river but does not see the crocodile. The crocodile lunges up and grabs the gazelle in his jaws. He rolls over and pulls the gazelle under the water to drown it. Fast and furious. Some animals move very fast when they are hunting or if something surprises them. A peregrine falcon spots a pigeon and dives down to attack it. It crashes into the pigeon at an amazing speed and kills it. The falcon eats the dead pigeon on the ground. Fun fact, a hunting cheetah can run three times faster than the fastest person. Bears can run very fast. They sometimes chase people who catch them by surprise. Big bruisers. Big animals can be dangerous because of their size and strength. Hippos are huge. They sometimes kill people who come too close. Hippos live in rivers to keep cool. Male hippos often fight over territory. They attack with a huge teeth. African elephants are the biggest animals that live on land. They often charge at other animals to scare them away. Ooh, shark attack. Sharks are the fiercest hunters in the sea. They can hear and smell prey from a long way away. Great white sharks hunt big fish, seals and dolphins. Sometimes they attack people too, but this is rare. This great white, gra this great white shark is breaking through the surface of the sea to attack a seal. Tiger sharks have a very good sense of smell. A tiger shark smells blood coming from an injured turtle. The shark attacks. He crunches the turtle with its strong jaws and sharp teeth. Scary seals. Sharks aren't the only killers in the sea. Lots of other dangerous creatures live there too. A blue ringed octopus is only as big as a golf ball, but its poison can kill a person in minutes. It turns bright yellow with blue markings when it is about to attack. Bucked jellyfish sting small fish to death with their tentacles. Their sting can also kill people. A stonefish has poisonous spines along its back. 
It can kill people who step on it by accident. Electric rays hide in the sand and give an electric shock if they are touched. Cone snails inject fish with deadly poison and then swallow them whole. Wow. Vicious venom. Some snakes and spiders have sharp fangs filled with poisonous venom. Their venom can be very dangerous to people. Spinning cobras shoot venom at an attacker's eyes to blind it. Then they strike with their fangs and eject more deadly venom. Viper's fangs are so long they have to be folded away in their mouths between meals. A Sydney funnel web spider sits inside its web and waits for prey to pass by. A beetle steps on a thread linked to the web and the spider feels the web move. The spider scowls out. It sinks its fangs into the beetle and injects venom into it. Don't touch. Some animals have bright markings or sharp spines that tell other animals to stay away. The bright skin of a poison arrow frog warns attackers that it is deadly poisonous. Listen to this. Some people in South America use poison from frogs on their arrows when they go hunting. Lionfish have spines with poison on the ends. They swim in the sea around coral reefs looking for small fish to eat and sometimes a diver touches a lionfish by accident and gets stung by its spines. Deadly diseases. Some animals are dangerous because they spread diseases. A few female mosquitoes can spread a deadly disease called malaria when they bite people. This mosquito is drinking a person's blood through its straw-like mouth. Rats live in most places where people live. They carry diseases that can make people very ill. People can catch diseases from rats' droppings or from their fleas. Some flies spread germs by walking on droppings, then landing on people's food. Animals in danger. People can be even more dangerous to animals than animals are to people. So hunters shoot and kill wild animals for their fun, skins and horns. Sorry, for the four skins and horse. People cut down trees in the places where animals live and use the land for houses and farming. Sharks, fish and seabirds are killed by oil leaking from damaged ships. Plastic bags, cans and bottles can choke animals that try to eat them. Some people hunt and kill dangerous animals such as sharks for fun. And many animals are in danger of dying out unless people change some of the things they do. So let's get to the discussion question guys. Um, what is the book about? Well, the book is about uh, dangerous animals or animals in general and how they, they live, how they feed and uh, what, are, what are some of the techniques that they employ to get, uh, to get their food uh, and to survive. What are some of the important facts you read about? Okay, uh, well, I like the, the parts about the, the viper and the cobras. They have very interesting ways to attack. Uh, their praise and uh, I didn't know that uh, the cobra has to fold uh, have, they have to fold their fangs into their mouth because they're just too long and uh, the third question will be what did you learn well I learned a lot of things um, I learned that we as people we are uh, we can be more dangerous to animals than they are to us and uh, that's obviously scary because we don't want animals to die out or to uh, you know disappear from the face of the earth because they're important for the ecosystem so hopefully guys you enjoyed the read and uh, uh, it was a pleasure I wish you a great day